hey, what's really going on? Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, XRP against USDT. What do we have here? Price action experiencing an abrupt change in momentum, sell off, a rejection off of $1.41 as we see, you know, up to like 30 something percent in downside in the last, you know, less than a week. What does that mean for XRP moving forward? Um, so you've already seen up to 118% in gains with engineering robos buy suggestions in the last 41 days. Um, so I mean, if you haven't doubled your money, uh, there are reasons to believe perhaps you should take profit uh, with a you know 64% ROI um, at current levels based on some newly printed bearish suggestions and some technical sell factors coming into play. And so as we can see, Engineering Robo got very bullish on price action around you know, 64 cents per XRP as we plowed through significant resistance, sending price action up to 118% in gains, allowing you to turn a $10,000 investment into over $20,000 with Engineering Robo's buy suggestions. And so, I mean, if you didn't sell the exact top of this um, kind of a local high here, um, then there are reasons to believe you should perhaps take profit around current levels with a uh, more than 65% in gains um, with reasons to believe there might be some short-term continued downside and so we do have this now sell for and hell coming into play as price action you know comes through this abrupt change in momentum as you know the crypto market uh, corrects here a little bit we have price action uh, bouncing off of this key fettuccine line the 0 0.5 level at one dollar and three cents i believe was a rather significant level for us uh since kind of like august uh, the 11th in my opinion, as when we came up to it as resistance, we've been interacting with it as a bit of support kind of moving forward while we were getting uh, uh, resistance around the 0 0.618 Fettuccine line, $1.25 was a key uh, kind of level for us as potential sell pressure. And so, I mean, we did have this, you know, break upward and, you know, what appeared to be interaction with it as support, uh, but we interacted with a very abrupt change in momentum, which could happen in crypto at any time. And so as we can see, uh, the bullishness overall uh, did come into play as we bounced off of this area of support. The buy pressure came in and we saw this pump in yesterday's candle as we came from $1.03 and, you know, all the way came all the way up to one dollar and 23 cents in the same day um, however many traders um, exited their positions with that um, kind of you know swing upward there as we see a very large rejection with that candle and so with price action currently interacting with a you know mini area of kind of resistance here one dollar and nine cents in my opinion um, if we continue to uh, have daily candles closing beneath it i do believe that would lead to um, you know further um, suggestions of a break downward through this 0 0.5 line all the way to this um, 200 daily moving average around 91 cents per XRP, which could be a very bullish area of support for us. Um, however, we also have um, what I believe to be a even more bullish area of support between the 0 0.382 Fibble Lamborghini level 81 cents all the way down to uh, kind of like 78 cents in my opinion. So I do believe uh, we have some kind of room for downside in the sort of short to midterm to still be bullish overall for XRP. I mean, we've just come, you know, we've interacted with a key phase of consolidation and we are about to break into another sort of area of potential consolidation if we refer to price action between the end of May of this year all the way to the middle of June. Uh, we have price action getting, you know, slipped and slapped, flipped and flopped between these uh, two fettuccine levels. And so I do believe uh, some price action interacting with them moving forward is uh, what we should expect. Uh, but overall, um, we do believe the upside will um, likely continue. And so um, if we refer to previous times, XRP has experienced um, these kind of moves upward, downward, upward, and then downward. Uh, we have price action um, around 2000 years ago today, um, in the beginning of November of 2020, uh, coming from a bullish area of consolidation around 25 cents. Um, we see price action rise up to 203% in the following 14 days, allowing you to triple your money with engineering robos by suggestions. You know, if you didn't turn $10,000 into $30,000, um, you were suggested to uh, take profit with a 97% ROI because uh, price action did experience some, uh, you know, short term upside. However, we did see price action fall up to 65% over the following 16 days after engineering robo becomes bearish on XRP in the sort of uh, sort of mid term here. And so after that 65% uh, correction, uh, we do see price action trade sideways and then return upward only to enter a, another phase of sideways, which we experience some volatile ups and downs. And so, I mean, if um, price action or history were to repeat itself, um, we would appear to be 
in uh, this sort of second phase of sideways here. We have an upper phase, a lower phase, and this now mid phase that we may be experiencing. And so um, now price action moving forward is definitely going to be uh, rather volatile. Expect some uh, up and down swings. Would I buy XRP today? Um, I do believe a better opportunity to be accumulating XRP will present itself as uh, price action is likely to get quite volatile. Now, I'm suddenly looking at OG against USDT. We're looking at what price action is uh, interacting with moving forward. Um, I do believe we're looking um, a tad bullish, in my opinion, as price action consolidates above support around $5.45. Um, we do have this sort of uh, bullish break upward and um, interaction with this downtrend line as potential support, uh, suggesting that we may get another interaction with this $8.30 resistance level that we have seen um, not too long ago. And with these candles previously in the kind of last week here, we do see price action is um, very bullish through this uh, overall kind of market correction and abrupt change in momentum that you know crypto and altcoins have been experiencing. And so uh, since engineering robo became bullish around uh, $4 and 41 cents per OG. We see price action rise up to 157% over the following 34 days with engineering robos buy suggestions easily, you know, doubling your money, turning a $10,000 investment into well over $25,000 with engineering robos buy suggestions and so even through this um, abrupt sell-off and uh, you know short-term downside engineering robo has remained bullish and so i do believe that suggests um you know further upside and perhaps another interaction with my eight dollar and thirty cents resistance level we do have that 200 daily moving average coming into play um, which is going to be interacting with us moving forward slapping us up down and sideways uh, overall uh, the more daily candles that close above this downtrend line, uh, the more we can confirm it as potential support and the more comfortably bullish we can be. We're currently in between support and resistance, so this would be a, a slightly riskier entry uh, compared to buying near support. Uh, I do believe a um, better opportunity to purchase this coin would have been near my support line around $5.45 or when Engineering Robo became bullish around $4.36 because at the moment we are in between support and resistance and um, there could be some you know room for some short-term downside that may present itself before we see um, you know these kind of higher levels as we can see uh, price action on the 8th of September. Um, you know we came from this kind of like six dollar level on the fourth of September, and then four days later, after seeing eleven dollars, we came right back down to it. And so, there definitely is um, some short term volatility in this phase of consolidation we are trying to break from. And so, would I buy this coin today? Um, I do believe perhaps a, a more bullish opportunity will present itself to purchase this coin, and a more comfortably bullish opportunity to start investing in OG would be um, as support is found above eight dollars and thirty cents, as we do have another target around twelve dollars and. 29 cents so um, there's definitely lots of uh, room for price action here we're still um, in this kind of phase of volatility um, overall things are looking bullish in my opinion however let me know in the comments down below where you think price action is going to go um, you know we've already seen up to a hundred and um, you know 50 percent in gains in the last month so that could cause them you know perhaps uh, some sort of midterm sideways where price action you know finds a bullish area of support um, as we can see, Engineering Robo is still bullish. Uh, however, previous uh, times, Engineering Robo suggested bearish price action. Uh, we saw prices fall up to 42% over the following uh, 30 days, with you know allowing you to uh, you know prevent your position from losing more than 40% in losses with uh, Engineering Robo's bearish suggestions. And so, with these buy uh, signals now coming into play, um, I do believe we can get more bullish on this coin. Uh, however. We are looking um, a tad volatile at the moment as we are right in between support and resistance. Uh, now, what is this? Bitcoin against USDT. We have price action uh, currently looking rather scary, fearful, uncertain, and doubtful, uh, causing many traders to uh, be in a state of um, you know fear and uh, you know caution at the moment. We even have engineering robo now printing sell suggestions. And so we do see price action rise from $34,000 per Bitcoin, come all the way you know up to 54% in gains over the following 45 days, allowing you to turn $10,000 into over $15,000 with Engineering Robos by suggestion. Um, and so if you haven't, you know, if you didn't take profit at those levels, um, I do believe the current levels would be a, you know, perhaps key area to claim your 32% in gains uh, with Engineering Robos bearish suggestions as, you know, some short-term downside may present itself because this abrupt change in momentum, sell pressure, and rejection from the 0.786 Fettuccine level um, could, you know, 
prolong this sort of uh, you know consolidation here as we re-enter this sort of uh, area of sideways below this uh, 200 daily moving average I am looking for you know further interaction with this 0 0.618 FIBA Lamborghini Zucchini and Martini level $41,500 per Bitcoin um, has been a um, you know a key target that I have suggested kind of all through the, um, this recovery and um, sort of upside that we've experienced in the immediate sort of short term these last couple months have been uh, very bullish too bullish so I do believe uh, what goes up kind of must come down just as quickly um, however the overall perspective is uh, very bullish on Bitcoin I do believe the buy pressure is far too high for us to experience any sort of uh, long-term downside um, in the immediate short term. Um, I suspect the 0 0.618 level, and even if we were to fail that, a bullish area of support will be found around $38,000 per Bitcoin with Engineering Global bearish. Um, I do believe um, that is the sort of uh, direction that we are heading in the immediate short term. Long term, it's never a bad time to buy Bitcoin, only better times. And so let me know in the comments down below where you think price action is going to go. Subscribe here on YouTube. Try Engineering Robo free with the link in the description and tune in for the next one.